Hello everyone, my name is Fawad Khalik and I'm a software engineer at PlumGrid. I work in the OpenStack team and my team is responsible for helping customers design and implement cloud infrastructure. In this session, I'll give you an introduction about PlumGrid OpenStack networking suite by first explaining the basic concepts and then talking about how PlumGrid adds value to OpenStack networking. Before we move on to that, I would recommend that you watch a PlumGrid platform overview video by Valentina Alaria. So what is OpenStack and what is PlumGrid OpenStack networking suite? Why do customers want it? And what are some of its characteristics? OpenStack has multiple projects, including networking as a project, which is called Neutron. Neutron allows plugin mechanism to enable different backend technologies. This is where PlumGrid comes in. The PlumGrid OpenStack networking suite plugs into Neutron through PlumGrid plugin, and PlumGrid plugin has been available in OpenStack latest releases. Let's talk about why do customers need PlumGrid OpenStack networking suite? There are some deficiencies in Community Neutron and PlumGrid is absolutely essential to overcome those deficiencies and enable production quality networking services. Out of numerous enhanced capabilities, I would like to touch upon four key components today. It is highly scalable and fully distributed. It is highly available with guaranteed known traffic downtimes. It uses data plane and control plane encryption, which the industry completely ignores today and it offers monitoring and analytics tools from VM ports to entire tenants. Now let's go to the whiteboard and I'll show you some of these use cases in detail. Now let's talk about some of the use cases of PlumGrid OpenStack networking suite. On this whiteboard on the left side, you see OpenStack Neutron with some of its components. It's a logical architecture diagram. On the right side, you see PlumGrid platform, a physical overview, and on the top, you see a PlumGrid virtual domain. We're going to use all of these components to explain you the use cases today. The first use case I'm going to talk about is a simpler deployment model. Over here, you see Neutron running a bunch of services, for example, L3 agent, a DHCP agent, a VPN service agent, etc., etc., which has to be deployed in a certain configuration on certain hosts to make provide these services in a proper way. With PlumGrid, all of these services are moved into PlumGrid platform, which are completely distributed. You have distributed virtual routers, distributed virtual switches, distributed virtual NATs, etc., etc. The second use case that I'm going to talk about is about the scalability issues that PlumGrid solves. In this model, one of these components, for example, an L3 agent is a choke point. What you see here is if you have multiple tenants, all of their traffic is going to L3 agent out to the internet. Now, this is a single point of failure and this is a performance hit. PlumGrid solves this problem. Now I'm going to raise some of these components to show you how PlumGrid simplifies this deployment model and solve this scalability issues. Now, if you look at this simpler deployment model, all we are left with is Neutron server, a database and a queue. And over here, if you see PlumGrid directors, Neutron servers talk to PlumGrid directors over RESTful APIs. What happens is that whenever Neutron has to provision some services, Neutron sends API calls over to PlumGrid directors to get those network services enabled. The third use case that I'm going to talk about is high availability. As you know that in the OpenStack community, people are still figuring out this use case and trying to solve this problem, while PlumGrid has already solved it. So now if people ask what happens if your director cluster goes down for any reason, I would say PlumGrid services will still keep on working in a headless mode where if you see these servers, that's where the VMs are hosted and all the distributed network functions are listed and hosted will keep on working and there'll be no traffic downtime. The fourth use case that I'm going to talk about is security. And if you see all these compute nodes are running PlumGrid IOWiser and they talk to each other. When they talk to each other, this is our data plane traffic and this is encrypted. If they need to talk to the PlumGrid directors, this communication is also encrypted. So this offers enterprise grade security for production environments. Thank you for joining me today. Please be sure to check out the other PlumGrid's Tech Talk videos.